This is the Gorilla Dump Cart that I purchased on Amazon. I want to review it and show you some of the features in case this is something you're interested in getting. This is the Gorilla Cart that can handle up to 600 pounds of weight in here, and it's got four cubic feet of space where you can put things. And so just for illustration, I have a bag of mulch in here, so you can see it just fits uh, uh, almost like they designed it to fit a bag of mulch, so it's perfect uh, for that use. So some of the features that it has, it has these 10-inch air-filled tires here, which are great for when you are pulling it around. Uh, if you're hitting bumps or something like that, uh, it's not a problem. It can go over them. It can absorb all that shock, and it makes uh, moving heavy objects around much easier You know when you're pulling it up here with the handle. It's got a plastic bed here, so it's not going to rust, and perhaps its best feature is that it has the ability to dump, and let me show you how that happens. So over here on the front, there is a handle, and you just pull this latch like this, and then you can lift it up. It's, it's actually quite easy. So you just down here, pull it up, and, uh, and then you can lift this up. And so watch what's happening here. Can you see that, that these back wheels are moving forward? And what that does in terms of its dumping ability is that it, it means you don't have to lift this whole thing up. So I'm barely putting uh, uh, pressure here to lift this thing up and I could dump the contents out. So if those wheels didn't move forward, I would have to lift this whole thing up like this, ugh, and it would take a lot more effort. So that is a very good design for this type of cart. So just unhook it, and then you can dump it out like that. And then what you can do is you can grab the handle here and just, just pull, it, pull it out. So, um, and then the contents would dump out. The, uh, the handle on here is, uh, I don't know, a few feet long and has a nice padded top here. Another thing that's uh, really nice about this cart is the turning radius. So look at this. You can like turn beyond 90 degrees in both directions. So you get some, uh, you can make some really tight turns with this, especially if you have like, like a heavy load and a tight turn you gotta make. Uh, this thing will be able to do that. I also like the shape of this plastic bin. It's shaped with like a U shape here on the end so that when you're lifting up and dumping it, you're able to get more of the contents out. So it's, that's opposed to the rectangular shape here on the front. And if you needed to move this whole cart by itself, obviously with nothing inside of it, uh, you had to pick it up and say put it in a truck or something, this whole thing only weighs 32 pounds. Also, if you needed to store this and take the wheels off, actually putting them on and taking them off is really easy. There's just a little pin that you can just bend it and pop the wheels off if you wanted to store them. So we own this smaller garden cart and the bigger one, the 1200 pound version. Um, and I'd say these, we really like these garden carts so much better than having a wheelbarrow um, because that it just seems to be hard to move around, uh, hard to store. Um, yeah, I don't, these are just, I feel like a, a much better alternative to those. And if you're considering getting this one or the bigger size, I would say, uh, unless you need it, just get the smaller size uh, because it can handle 600 pounds of weight. Um, our current one, our other one is currently in the backyard, just full of cinder blocks. So uh, that one is nice and it's higher and bigger uh, and you can carry more things. But uh, if you don't need that, then consider getting this smaller cart.